capture 100 voices on video. For YouTube. Let's go. Holy fuck, this is raw. I'm such a big headed Joby, you know, you know. You used to see him doing Bacchanon sleep every day, you know. I think that once you get over that initial surprise of having sort of headbutt as a planet, that you can sort of show the the ball that forms on your forehead a bruise to all of your friends and they'll all think it's like amazing. Hi, I'm Chris Hansen for Dateline NBC. Little did these men know that when they came to our country house looking for sex with 14 year old girls, that they weren't going to end up having sex, but because they were going to jail, they would be fucked. Oh no, I'm LP, you bastard you! Tell you what my darkest secret is. I will like Super Mario Brothers. Makes me happy with my panties. Oh, the best action begins in the foyer. Grab your snack now. Well, hello, beautiful. You look nervous. Is it the breast cancer? You want to know who I got it? Well, Harold was a drinker and a fiend. One night, he goes to see the uh, doctor in broad daylight. And I just want him to know that I don't care about the value of the house. I just want him to know that I love him for who he is. So one night, I take Johnny and I do this to myself. And you know what? Now he can't stand the sight of me. But now I see the funny side. Now I always have breast cancer. Ace Ventura, pet detective, and you must be the Monopoly guy. Hey. Thanks for the free parquet. I'm Oprah Winfrey, one of the most powerful women in America today. Well, I could buy the whole Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise worldwide, true and true. And there's some of that beans on the coastline this side and shit. I went into the pie shop and I gave her a 20 pound note and as she was tilling it up, she turned to another woman in shop and said, 20 going in, Marion. 20 going in, love. I said, hey, mouth. I've got two drug dealers on me up for me change here. Johnny, Miss Freddy here, Freddy de Cordova. He still thinks I'm gonna pay back that $15, but he's not gonna see it. Have choked bigger men than you. But the worst day is, that's Naveed lost his entire livelihood. I'm out of your job, and Mina's lost a good part. Good morning, everyone out there in Radio Land. It's me, Cam Bruce, here on Radio 2, waking you up this fine Saturday morning. There's a bit of drizzle, but that's just my wife. And this morning, we're going to be listening to some fine classics, like Smack My Bitch Up by Prodigy. We're here with you until uh, the dawn of the apocalypse, or 2 p.m., as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have this great idea for a film where what's going to happen is half of the characters are going to be made out of leaves and the other half are going to be made out of like rakes and there's going to be like a war between them and they'll do it all in camera using forks and spoons. <laughs> You've got to be really careful with the croc. If you approach it from behind, that's a big, big mistake. Cause it'll do a backflip and it'll be on you before you can say ready, set, oh! The man of a thousand chins who led the British Expeditionary Force in the 1946 pie-eating contest against Alsace Lorraine and led them to victory on the beaches and with the air. Don't touch my ass! Fifty years ago, I know when I came over from Sicily that I'd be standing on screen with young actors like uh, Al Pacino and James Gunn. I would have hanged myself. So you wish to sodomize me? It would be extremely painful for you.